Hello everybody. In previous tutorial we talked about how to download and download and install Apache Tomcat server. Then uh, after that we ran sample uh, WAR file, Java application file, and also ran some Tomcat commands such as start, stop, reload, deploy, undeploy, uh, not deploy, except deploy, uh, using Tomcat, Tomcat manager interface. In this tutorial, we're going to we are going to download and install Cgwin with cURL command, and after the, after that, run Tomcat commands using Cgwin command prompt. And why do we need this uh, Cgwin and cURL, C, cURL command at all? It's because in uh, real life uh, applications, uh, we may no, not have access to uh, Tomcat manager interface. Uh, and in this case we have to, but uh, we, we will have some privileges, we will have some user password, username and password for privileged user and uh, we will want uh, to run some uh, deploy, so run to, uh, Java application, stop, start, reload it and undeploy on it using command prompt and uh, C URL command. C URL command helps us to run these commands. Uh, I mean these commands. And but uh, the problem is that C URL is a Linux based uh, command. And uh, in order to be able to run C URL on Windows, we will use application Cgwin, which gives us these uh, possibilities. Abilities. So now we can go and download uh, the Cgwin. Cgwin download. We will download this one. Now we have downloaded the setup. Uh, we can run it and uh, follow the steps. Install from internet the directory, all the users, desktop. We choose the download sources and it started installing. Now, here is important step uh, we should uh, choose the C URL command. Uh, to be installed uh, while installing Cgwin because cURL is not default uh, command for Cgwin. If we type cURL, then we should choose net and mark it here. That's all. Continue and this starts installing. Now it's installed. And we create desktop icon. Now let's here it is. Let's run it. And now we have prepared command prompt, segment command prompt. Now let's uh, let's try our previous installed uh, application. This is turned off. Okay, let's go and uh, turn on the Apache server. Let's try if it starts. So maybe it will start up like this. Yeah. Yeah, so server start started. So if we go to localhost for 8080 manager, input the password and username, yeah, we haven't deployed the file, Deploy. now they see, we see the sample application, so as we see it runs. Now we can use this sequence called sequin command prompt to, for example, stop this application. In order to stop this application using sequin commands, uh, we can 
We can take the same syntax from the previous tutorial and we just add the C URL command at the beginning of the uh, this whole command. So we just take it, put it in the sigwin, paste. Now we trying uh, we are trying to stop the application as you see. And if we if we run, yeah, ok stop the application at context path sample. So now go to sample and test it. Yeah, it gets not found error. Now let's try to start the application. Um, we should change stop with start and uh, if we paste it ok start the application if we refresh it now it's working uh, we can do the similar uh, comments we can run similar comments start stop reload uh, and undeploy and now let's try undeploying it and deploy copy and run this command and deploy the application now let's let's see it's 400 and uh, this should be deleted from this path it did not delete maybe it needs to be refreshed Or maybe we have error. Well, the problem is that we are running this uh, Sigwin not as an administrator, so that we turn it off. Go to Sigwin, right click, and run as an administrator. And now, if we put this command and deploy, and deploy the application, yeah. Now let's try. Yeah, this is deleted, and let's see here. Simple. See. Now just okay. The problem is that when we run this command. Uh, actually, now this is uh, undeployed, so deleted from here. As we can see here as well, it's not here. But when we re refresh this page, yeah, uh, the last time when we refreshed it, it asked uh, the command prompt, uh, alert prompt here, uh, asked uh, if we wanted to resend the uh, information about page and uh, when uh, we clicked yes it sent it the the, uh, the information that we had the sample file here and created from uh, recreated it so yeah now it's done so we have already tried the almost all comments start stop reload we did not try reload but it's the same and deploy and now we, we can try how to deploy the mm, application the syntax for deploying application is a little bit a little bit different and a little bit more complex and tricky we'll do see it now. so the syntax for uh, deploying that means uploading uh, the sample war application uh, on other on our tomcat server uh, is this one so we use C URL command, upload file command, then we provide the file name sample.war, uh, this file sample.war, then, uh, then the, there is this similar uh, syntax for our comments, and uh, here we write uh, deploy and the path sample. So the path will be shown here. Drop uh, the sample. So now we can copy this command. Copy, not paste. 
that it's the same because I had copied it. Copy and put it here and run. Okay, it says it was deployed. Now go to manager. Mm, yeah, you know it's the same problem here. Well, the refreshing of this page is not a good idea, so now we just paste it. Okay, deployed. See it here? Yeah, it works. And now uh, we won't refresh this page, but to go to the new localhost manager. And as we see here, here is a sample our um, application, simple application. So thank you everybody for watching and if you have any questions just write down in the comments and uh, I will definitely answer all of your questions. Thank you.